Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to show you guys my uh, gaming setup right now. I just have a Wii for the moment, but that's more than enough. Um, I have it hacked so I can download GameCube games and Wii games. Uh, it's really awesome. So, as we can see, there is no sensor bar set up. Put it right there. Okay, so, as we can see, we have a good old homebrew channel, but we're not really going to mess with that today. What I use is USB Loader GX. It takes a minute to load. And as we can see, like I have Bomberman Hero, which was a Wii Virtual Console game. I can download any of those. I uh, recently have been playing Chibi Robo, which I really like. And I got Luigi's Mansion, Mario Kart Double Dash, and Hulk Ultimate Destruction. This is a really good one. So, when you have a hacked Wii like this and you're using this loader you could choose whatever controller you want to use you can use the classic controller or you can use the Wiimote and Nunchuck which is good for a lot of games because it's a very comfortable controller you know you just need you know you can put your hands wherever you feel like uh, you just have to go in and set it up in the settings I hope it is set to use the classic controller. I found that that is a pretty good controller. And no, it's not. It's not set up for that. I don't know why. Okay, so it was not set up for the classic controller, so we're going to go do that right now. Okay, usually doesn't take this long to load. Alright, so we're going to set this up for the classic controller. Go to game load. I just go down, down, down. Till we hit GameCube controller. Well, it can be one native controller. That's if you want to use the GameCube ports on the Wii but you don't have to so we're turning those off and that is also for like if you have a Wii U you can do all the same stuff on a Wii U it even emulates the memory card so you don't even need any uh, GameCube memory cards if you don't want to and of course the Wii U doesn't take GameCube memory cards. This actually takes a moment to boot up. Alright, we're in the game. And, yeah, just trying to get past these parts. Yep, logos, Marvel, we get it. Yep, all. Yeah, some developer. Another developer, no, that was the first cutscene. For some reason with this game, you always have to go and turn widescreen on. At least it has widescreen. Can you game? This is a really great game, actually. Um, and actually, the classic controller is not the greatest for this game, because you have to, I don't know, I like how the original GameCube controller has the big A button and the other buttons are really close to it um, so it's easy to do what you want to do because you gotta, you gotta use a lot of buttons in this game um, like you have to hold the X button to climb stuff and you know that's harder to reach up here 
and whatnot. But this is a really fun game. You just smash, smash stuff. And it's a lot like GTA if you just keep smashing things, especially cop cars, you you will get the cops sent sent on you. And only certain buildings are destructible. But yeah, this looks very nice actually. Um, this is as smooth of a game as, you know, this is the smoothest way you're going to play GameCube games. So let's just keep smashing up stuff. Uh, grab that. You can turn it into these really strong fists. Beat up this, car, this uh, bus. Trying to get some more cops on me to show you some of the fun. And yeah, I keep punching buildings because I'm trying to find one that will, uh, you know, that'll actually explode. So yeah, threat increase. Uh, now when you beat up these, you get a bunch of this stuff. Which makes you stronger. I already have critical mass. And now we have the helicopters on us. Awesome. So I think that's the pickup button. And you throw crap at the helicopters. Run! I'm about to die. Um, I'm actually really used to using the GameCube controller. Oh, come on. Don't die. Don't die. Ah. Oh. See, I vowed to only use Classic Controller from now on, because I was having so many problems with GameCube. Okay, we smashed one, finally. So, pick it up, get a target, and I like to jump, and throw it. I think it exploded. And I died. I'm usually not that bad at this game. Continue. Uh, there is a trick, if you find one of these random missions, and it's a race mission, there's no time limit on the race, and you could smash up as much stuff as you want, and you won't have police on you. So, there's this place, the church, it's for options and stuff. But yeah, you can pick up crap, throw it. Let's see. Sometimes I like to pick up stuff and then just run around with it. Dang, I really wish I could have showed you exploding those uh, helicopters, but uh, I gotta get used to this controller. Because I vowed to not use the GameCube controller anymore because I have some pretty old, weird controllers, and I'm gonna try to stick with this one. Alright, so. That's enough for this video. I'll probably show you guys Chibi Robo soon. That's a very unique game. Um, uh, yeah, it's a very unique game. It's really cool. And here's a cool feature about this loader. You just hit the home button and it goes back to the loader. Let's see that happen, huh? See? There it is. Now you can change the game. So there is a way to customize buttons, but you have to get on the computer and start writing code and crap. It's a big hassle. So yeah, that's my hacked Wii. Um, of course, I can play all kinds of like Super Nintendo and whatever else. So, alright, thanks for watching. Have a great evening.